It won't be long now. Be next <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, who's yeah. playing that flute? Oh, it's Master Colhart. Come on, let's go. Yeah, right. come on. Die for this, heartbreak warrior. <laughs> I'm under strict orders not to kill you, but they didn't say anything about not having a little bit of fun on the way back. You dare! How come a famous fighter like you is behaving like an animal? And who are you, my friend? I'm no friend of yours. I just enjoy rescuing. It's you who's gonna need rescuing. I wouldn't chase after him, if I were you. Why not? For the very good reason that if he doesn't want you to capture him, it could be very difficult to find him, let alone catch him. You seem to know him very well. He's the whirlwind warrior. And you must be Aurora Lu. <laughs> you have the advantage over me there. But thank you for saving me. I'm Lu Xiao Feng. I'm here to represent Chief Ho at the forthcoming wedding. He couldn't make it himself. So he sent me. Yulong! Yulong, so you're the prospective bridegroom, are you? Bit touchy, are we? Huh. What proof do I have that you are who you claim to be? I need to check you out. Hmm. Are you paranoid or something? You say you've come for the wedding. You're traveling very lightly. Huh. Haven't you brought any gifts? You want to know what my gift is? Indeed I do. Then I'll tell you, I appear to have no gift, and yet, it's not as it seems, for I'll give by taking. What's all this double talk? You are up to no good. <laughs> oh. I suggest we stop before any bloodshed occurs. Don't tell me what to do. Don't be silly. He's obviously up to no good. That's not the point. He's representing Chief Ho. And he's our guest. I'm sorry. Miss Lu is a wise lady and very charming. <laughs> what a strange situation. This important wedding day is almost upon us. Yet, strange to say, there aren't any guests. All you have present here so far are the four kings and me. Hmm. Don't you worry about it, Mr. Chow. Everything is just as it should be. The wedding will go ahead as planned. I admire your confidence, but aren't you concerned about the heartbreak warrior? 
Mr. Chow, what do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> what I mean is, will the Heartbreak Warrior permit your wedding to go ahead as planned? <laughs> How dare you imply? Hold your tongue! <laughs> Huh. And who would dare to dress me in that rude fashion? I see it's the bridegroom himself. How are you long? Huh. How dare you address me so arrogantly? Why should I put up with it? You answered it for yourself. The fact that I am how you long. How you long? There's nothing special about you. You're only the bridegroom because I didn't compete. If I had, you wouldn't be in a position to be so arrogant, now would you? Then shall we compete now? You long. Don't do it. But why not, Father? How can I allow such rudeness? Teaching is best achieved by example. To repay him with rudeness would weaken you. Besides, he's a guest at the wedding, and so he shall be treated with consideration. Mr. Chi. Yes, Your Excellency. Give Master Chow the suite in the West Wing. Give him all that he wants. Yes. <laughs> That's more like it. I'm accustomed to the best of everything. Come on, please. Governor Lu. Uh, do we know this man? Uh, he's Lu Xiaofeng. He's coming to the wedding on behalf of Chief Ho, who can't attend. Oh, welcome to the palace, Mr. Lu. How is Chief Ho? Thank you for your welcome. Chief Ho is very well, as he always is. Good. You long. Please arrange a suitable room for our guest. But... Oh, Chief Lu, please don't put yourself out. I'll go and look for a room at one of the nearby inns. Well, things are certainly getting complicated. We can't just sit around and wait for them to attack, can we? I think... We should start by finding out who this heartbreak warrior is and what exactly he's after. That'll be something positive to do. Dad? That man who attacked me today? A hired killer, I think. The person who employed him to attack you like that is remaining hidden. And he's the one that we really need to get hold of. Do you think it was Chief Chow? Well, anything is possible. Oh, it could even be Lu Xiaofeng. I don't think it is him. Why not? Hmm. Intuition. Well, my intuition tells me it could be him. Why have you taken such a dislike to him? And tell me, why are you so infatuated with him? You know, you... Enough. Stop bickering and start thinking. This heartbreak warrior will slip up and I'll be waiting for him. Mr. Lu, aren't you drinking too much? And aren't you in the wrong place? Yu Lung wouldn't approve of it. He'd misunderstand. I don't think he would. Not if we do nothing wrong. <laughs> That's a naive viewpoint. And I don't want him to suspect me. Mr. Lu, perhaps if you told me the real reason you're here then nobody would suspect you of anything. I came here for one reason only, to take something away. What sort of something? It's something personal. I can't tell you about it. And when will you take it? 
Sooner or later, when I'm ready. Sooner, do you think? Aurora, I would like you to tell me something. Do you have the Purple Jade Badger here? Tell me. You answer my question with another question. I was always taught. That was impolite. <laughs> you haven't given me a chance to ask any questions yet. Do you think that's very polite? Miss Aurora? Is the secret of the Jade Badger so important? It's most important. Right. Prove to me that by coming here you mean us no harm. Do that and I'll give you your answer, all right? Think it over. I'll be waiting for you. I've searched for him for three years now. And when I find him, I'll kill him. But he isn't living here. I've never heard of anyone like that. He'll come sooner or later. Ah, please tell me the secret of the Purple Jade Badger. All right, then. My grandfather was famous and well-known as the Divine Physician. I know. He was a man of vision, and he built Sunset Villa. The Purple Jade Badger was the culmination of a lifetime's work. It contains a magic elixir. Is that true? So they say. It has the capacity to instill new life. It makes you incredibly powerful. It gives you special abilities in Kung Fu. Nobody could beat you. Are you sure it can do all those things? Come on. Would I lie to you? Oh, <laughs> Lu Xiaofeng, you've gone too far. What are you doing trying to touch Aurora? You long, don't be silly. You've got it wrong. I haven't got it wrong. I know what's going on. You don't! don't. <laughs> My lord. Mr. Lu, excuse me. It's okay. Yu Lung, why are you behaving like this? I'll tell you. He and Aurora. Yu Lung, go outside. <sighs> Yu Lung, why are you so jealous? The man's just arrived. What on earth is the matter with you? I'm jealous because I can sense something's going on. And I don't like it. Don't be ridiculous. But it's true, Father. I know it is. How do you know? He made a mistake when I asked him something. What mistake? When I first met him, I asked him who he was, and when he told me, I asked after Chief Ho, and he said he was well. Remember? Hmm, so what? Well, I made a few inquiries, and Chief Ho has been dead for six months. <sighs> the guy's nothing but an imposter. He's no better than Chow. I'm sure he wants the Jade Badger, and he'll use any means, including Aurora. And I don't intend to let him do that. Lord Lu, I've been waiting here for hours. Is this your idea of hospitality? Master Chow, don't get so upset. I've been kept rather busy dealing with the Purple Jade Badger. And I thought, since you've all expressed so much interest in it, that I'd take it out of storage and let you see it. Tell me the truth, Lord Lou. Does it really contain the elixir? My wife's father made it, and to tell you the truth, Master Chow, I don't know what's in it. He never said. Huh? Oh, don't give me a whole bunch of crap. I wasn't, Master Chow. Well, I don't believe you. <laughs> Remember where you are. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a mistake. <laughs> we all make mistakes, and genuine ones are forgivable. Aurora, please take this back inside, will yes. you? You've surprised me, Mr. Lou. 
The J Badger doesn't interest you. Lord Lou, I have a suggestion. What is it? Be careful with your badger. It's very valuable. Somebody may want to steal it. a note for you from my mistress. Your mistress? Yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. way. <laughs> the extreme way is the effective way. Buddha got it wrong. <laughs> the way of Buddha is omnipotent. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you on his side, it isn't, is it? Oh, you eager? Oh, oh, holy Buddha! Oh. Hey, back to meditation. You've got to learn a bit more about detachment. Huh? Let's talk more action. The fierce tiger closes in to kill! The first tiger turned out to be made of paper. The tiger fights to the death. Then I'll have to kill you. Don't sit and warn you. Watch out for the flying fish! It's a long line for a big fish. But I'm not a fish, old fellow. I'm a fox. <laughs> you still want to catch fish? Of course. Then try the water. Huh? <laughs> You've dealt with the brawn. Now try the brains. <laughs> Perhaps you're just warming up. Or do you fight with words only? How dare you make fun of me! <laughs> Say, green suits you. You should wear it more often. <laughs> you're the famous four kings, are you? Well, you know, four king good. <laughs> that was excellent. I'm Master Chow. Miss Alou, please don't be offended. But I was just testing your skills. You see, I want to work with you on an idea of mine. Right. Then I presume you'll fight me too. Oh, no need. I know you're good. If I beat you, it might be embarrassing for you. <laughs> Master Chow, so tell me, what is this idea of yours? Uh, <laughs> I want us to cooperate so we can get hold of the uh, purple jade batter. <laughs> There's a big difference between dreams and fantasies, so too between cooperation and manipulation. Don't be annoyed, Mr. Lou. 
I do want to cooperate with you. Just state your conditions, and I'll keep my word. Are you sure? Indeed. You won't regret it? No, I won't. Right. My terms are... 100,000 tails of gold. Uh -huh. You've got to be joking, Mr. Lowe. Hmm. Unfortunately for you, I'm not. Don't you think I'm worth that much gold? Uh, it's not that. But surely. If you don't have that much, forget my cooperation. Uh, Mr. Lowe, perhaps we can come to some agreement. How so? A little fight or some other test of my suitability for the job? Oh, I had nothing like that in mind. Mr. Lou, that's a lot of gold you're asking for. Won't you reconsider? Forget it. There's no point in your waiting. <laughs> Mr. Lou, all right then. I agree to your conditions. Mr. Lou, I wait your reply. Let's go. Lou Sao Fang, I hear you've been looking for me for the past three years. Shining death. That wasn't very intelligent, falling into my ambush. I don't understand your game. You don't understand much, do you? That injury I gave you should have destroyed all your Kung Fu powers. <laughs> you poor fool. You're wondering how you're going to manage to catch me now. Why are you so sure I can't? Some hunk of man. What woman could resist those forceful shoulders and those smoldering eyes? Don't waste my time. Make way. Make way? Huh, silly boy. This road is public property. Hmm. However, since you insist on it, I will, provided that you do one thing for me. What is it? Oh dear. Hmm. Not a very imaginative man. We're all alone in the woods. It's a beautiful day and the ground is soft. Perhaps we could make love. That sort of talk will get you into trouble one day. Oh, honey, I'm asking you for trouble right now. But you're such a self-righteous type. <laughs> if I didn't fancy that cute little face so much, I might just cut it into pieces. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't say. I return the compliment. I'll show you what happens to men like you. Oh. <laughs> 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 I thought Sai Chuchu was somebody special. I see I was wrong. How disappointing. Don't be disappointed. I'm sure I can satisfy you. I always feel horny after a little warm-up like that. Nymphomaniac! Now get out of my way.
She's definitely a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> uh, Master Chow. Did you manage to bring the Jade Badger? Mm -hmm. Yes, Master Chow. Oh, you've been a great help, Mr. Chi. <laughs> uh, Master Chow, you remember, we agreed on a little remuneration. How could I forget it? Where's every penny? Here are the notes. For 10,000 tails. What'll you do with it? Uh, oh, uh, Master Chow. <laughs> <sighs> I've been a servant all my life. I have this dream of being a rich man. Why <laughs> you? <laughs> well, your dream will never come true, not in this world anyway. <laughs> Witnesses have to be silenced. You should have guessed that, Mr. Chi. Basic rule. Huh. I really never thought we'd get the purple jade badger so easily. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> the greed of man runs deep as the ocean. A foolish thief sinks without trace. What are you blabbering about? Hmm. Didn't you wonder why? If that Jay Badger was real, it was so easy to get. Huh. Huh. Oh. Hell! <laughs> the truth sounds false. The fake looks real. The fake, the true, are hard to distinguish. Master Chow. Haven't you learned that yet? Who did it? Who had the nerve to set me up like this? Speak up! <laughs> ah, the truth. The truth. Staring you in the face, but you can't see it. If I were you, Master Chow, I'd kill myself. And if I were you, I'd have the decency to kill myself. Drooping around all over the place, spouting morbid poetry. Tell you what. We'll do you one last favor, misery guts. <laughs> Get him! Purple Jade Badger. What's it doing here? Lu Xiaofan. We've caught you red-handed. What you have to say for yourself? <laughs> it would seem there's not a lot I can say. However, isn't it a trifle obvious? Obvious? It's obvious that you've stolen the Purple Jade Badger. No. It's obvious that someone wants it to look like that. Lu Xiaofeng, don't be such a smartass. I asked you, if Chifo was well, do you remember that? What has that got to do with someone trying to frame me? <laughs> Everything. Chief Ho died six months ago. You might as well confess to your crime. A man's word is his bond. I didn't do it, so I won't confess. But you're even holding the Jade Badger. You can't deny it. Lord Lu, don't worry. I'll find out who did it. 
You'll know the truth. Well, well, well. Still trying to wriggle your way out. Pretending to be so honest. If you're not going to admit that you stole it, I'll have to force you to. Jade Badger. Leave it. Let her go. We must make plans if we're to get the Badger back. Come on. It's you. Yes. I brought you some food. Very kind of you. <laughs> well, it's my chance to repay you. It's no trouble. I brought you some medicine. Did you make the medicine yourself? Yes, I did. I learned a bit about medicinal herbs from Grandfather. <laughs> you learned a bit. This is a miracle cure. Oh, yes. Your note said to meet you in the woodshed. What was it about? How can I help? I want to help you catch your wife's murderer. That's very kind. What do you think you can do? The Jade Badger must be the key. My plan was to hand it over to you. I thought that would draw out the murderer, bring him to you. But then... Somebody got there before you. It was a good idea, though. It could have worked. But who'd want to frame you? Who do you think? Heartbreak Warrior. Why do you think it could be him? The Heartbreak Red Gang want to turn Sunset Villa against you. <gasps> you won! So you were the woman in black. You won! You... Mr. Lou, I'm gonna kill you today. <laughs> man. Mm. This time I think it's love at first sight. Mm. I have to admit, Madame Shang has excellent taste. Who the devil are you? Oh, you don't have to snap my head off. But I must confess, between the sheets, you masterful types know a thing or two most exciting. Don't be silly. Tell me who you are. All right, then. Darling, I'll tell you who I am. I am 
Your new fiancé. That's crap. I've never seen you before. Anyway, I've already got a fiancé. I'm engaged to Aurora. Oh, and you're engaged to me too. What a naughty boy. Hey, as my fiancé, would you do something for me? Do stop talking nonsense. Oh, it isn't nonsense. It's all very serious. <laughs> anyway, since we're engaged, we might as well act like it. How about a little premarital sex, sweetheart? Don't be disgusting. Oh, you're so handsome when you're angry. You're such a slut. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Hard and fast fighter. I wonder if you're hard and fast when it really counts. <laughs> display of bad temper, I'd set you from ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, we meet again. How timely. Only this time, there's nobody around to save you. So I can do what I like. That's what you think, you bastard. <laughs> Xiao Feng, you seem to be the eternal rescuer. I told you that already. Now tell me about the plans the Heartbreak Red Gang have got. You're not from the Six Doors. Why should I tell you? You assume that. How do you know I'm not? Well, even if you are a member, what of it? Hmm. I have heard of your skills. They're legendary. I'll arrest you now for the Six Doors. What do you say to that? You're too arrogant. There's a high price for that. And you're about to pay it.
Let her go. <laughs> it's best to be heartless. That way, you never feel any pain. I had a heart once. A woman stole it away. Now I'm heartless. Is that right? <laughs> so even Master Cold Heart is a member of the Heartbreak Red Gang. The sea of bitterness and the swamp of self-pity are without boundaries. Now I suggest you leave here while you're still able to. Or else I'll be truly heartless. Whatever bitterness you carry around, you let the lady go. And fast! <laughs> Heartbreak flute. Look at that. I told you that little trick would work wonders, didn't I? <sighs> However you look at it, Mr. Lou's much better than you, Lung. Just mm. imagine being in bed with him, all that rippling muscle. Huh? You can't have your cake and eat it. Don't forget you're engaged to you, Lung. Not to Mr. Lou. Hey. But just think how lovely it would be to have two husbands. Woman's insatiable. Hey, say something? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, I think it's time he went, don't you? Miss Choo Choo, someone's here. Oh. This is the lady Madame Shang wanted. Hmm. You're the Sunset Fairy? Hey, Septic, hmm? what's she got that I haven't? You tell me. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I'd rather not say. Oh, I insist you do. You insist? I insist. The truth. Hey, it's okay. Just be honest. Right, I'll tell you. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> She's got just about everything that you haven't. <gasps> hmm. Septic, you! Oh, come on, you tell me you wanted the truth. Hmm. Well, she won't be pretty when she's dead. Ah! Come on, have mm. you forgotten our orders? Mm. <laughs> Master Coldheart, where's the jade badger? You can't have it. How could I give it up? I need it to rekindle my love. I'll give it only to Madame Shang. Would you disobey Madame Shang's orders? She has my heart. How could I disobey her? I worship her. When will you take me to see Madame Shang? It won't be long. You just wait. Wait, wait. All I do is wait. I've waited for 15 years. And you want me to wait some more? 
It's nearly over. She's changed her mind. She'll meet you down here. Ah, uh, she will meet me here? Hmm. When? When she gets here. Be patient. So she's really here. After all these years apart, years of waiting, now I can see her again. Yes, I'll be patient. Ah, Saul. Ah, he's stupid. This ugly duckling's not a swan. He's just ugly. Ah. Just like you. Hey, what do you say? Uh, nothing, nothing. Let's get back to work, shall we? Hmm. What work? I want to sleep. I need a rest. Hey, 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 hey. Don't forget, you're just a waitress now. A working girl. Oh, yeah. i completely forgotten that. <laughs> Come on. You work for me. Oh! Madam Greetings, Madam Shang. That doesn't seem very appropriate for our meeting again. Heartbreak flute. It's the mirror of my heart. Hopeful, fearful, burning, frozen, loving, hating. Why do you torture yourself so? Come on, turn around. Let me look at your face. You look so wretched. After all these years, sweet words of concern. Well, we're together now. You'll soon be feeling better. You mean it? Mm. And do you have the jade badger with you? Of course. Now we can go and build our life together. Sit down. Let's celebrate our newfound love. What is it? Don't you drink wine now? Uh, don't worry. I wouldn't trick you. That's all in the past. If you don't trust me, I'll drink first. Well, it's finally over. Uh, yes. I'm so happy. All my dreams have come true at last. Uh, oh. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you never learn. People always attract that which they most fear. And feared I'd destroy you, and so I have. Shang, you're just vicious. I'm not heartless. I know now you are. You are. I'll 
I'll take the Jade Badger back to the palace. You two. Capture Shafeng alive. Yes. yes. Hey, welcome, sir. Uh, please come in this way. I said, mind the steps. Eh? Oh, oh. This table suit you over here? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, please, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> uh, now, now, now then, now then, uh, what can I get you? Uh, who's the waiter? You or this fellow? Uh, uh, he's the waiter. I'm the manager. <laughs> yeah. Well, how come you don't let him do his job? Huh? Is he... Mentally retarded? Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 nothing like that. No, he's got a terrible sore throat from all, all that screaming he does at his friend. <laughs> uh, uh, now, sir, uh, our speciality, if I may recommend Pork it... dumplings. Uh, <laughs> but how did you know? This place has a reputation for being very special. <laughs> it's well known, even by the dead. Uh, uh, oh, that's very funny, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is... Your name is so well known that people everywhere have heard of your achievement. Oh, oh very good, sir. <laughs> now, uh, do you want the uh, dumplings, do you? That's good. All right. Uh, uh, <gasps> go on, jump to it, jump to it. <laughs> uh, now, sir, do you know this tea? It's... Um, Lunching tea. Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> oh, you're a real connoisseur of haute cuisine. This tea is famous for its delicate yet pungent fragrance. Come on now, come on. Come on, get a move on. What's keeping you? Come on. Hmm. <laughs> Am I right? Huh? Isn't this Oriental sewer rat? Oh, hmm. you and your little jokes. Uh, these dumplings are made from fresh pork. They're not <laughs> made from rats. <laughs> Uh, I get it. You, you're Sai Chu Chu. In person. The dumplings. <laughs> the dumplings were made of pork, all right, with a little added strychnine. <laughs> there you go, smarty pants. Fry before a fall, I always say. <laughs> Hey, Septic. Huh? Well done. You did that most convincingly. Mm. Now let's have a little drink to celebrate. Right, yes. Uh, good idea. Uh, right. Uh, Cheers. We took the antidote, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. We can drink the wine yeah. then. Never a thinker, and an absolute fool for flattery. Remember the two monks dividing the water? Hmm? One gets it all. Uh, Juju, you, you poisoned me. Me, your friend, didn't you? I was just following Madame Shang's orders. She told me to add the heartbreak poison to the wine. She's a cruel old man. Oh, cruel. Oh. Why she rot in hell? Don't make such a big drama. <coughs> You've always known. Heartbreak red women are smarter than the men. <laughs> Sai Chu Chu. You. You. <coughs> you may think you're ahead now, but I'll be waiting for you in the next world. <coughs> <coughs> I'll be able to handle it. I'll fool you there, too. Lu <laughs> 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 Xiaofeng, please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Sai Chu Chu, weren't you ever taught not to underestimate your enemy? I'm not known as the Flying Fox for nothing. What's that? Are you really Flying Fox? <laughs> Much.
You're a conceited pig. I hate you. Uh, uh, hey, please can we rest a while? My feet are killing me. Oh, uh, perhaps you'd like to carry me? Hmm. Come on. Uh, oh, please, have pity on me. I'm not lying to you. My feet are in agony. Here, if you don't believe me, look. Don't try anything like that again. If you do, I'll tie you up so tightly you'll have to hobble the rest of the way. Shen Wu Hen, flying fox, shiny death. <laughs> hmm. No wonder you're called the Sunset Fairy. Who are you? Mistress of Heartbreak Palace. What did you say? Do you mean you're the Chief of Heartbreak Red? Yes, I am. Why do you hate Sunset Villa so much? What have we ever done to you? Why do you want to destroy us? There is an answer, but it's not the time to tell you. Why isn't it time? <laughs> there are more guests to come. Madam Shang, I'm hopeless. I couldn't bring Lu Xiao Feng back here. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Please get up. Thank you, Madam. Choo Choo, I think you've actually succeeded in bringing him back after all. What do you mean, Madam? <laughs> One way or another, I think you've drawn him to us. Look over there. Isn't that the flying fox? Lu Xiaofeng! So, Madame Shang, you're the brains behind Heartbreak Red, Heartbreak Warrior, Master Cold Heart, all the others, and Sai Chu Chu are just pawns in your game. Well done. You've worked that out very quickly. You're as smart as they said you were. However, you have missed out one important link in the chain. Sun Wu Hen. Not him. You know. Hmm. In all your arrogance, you were simply a minion for Madame Shang. <laughs> you found that out too late. Perhaps it's not too late. Now I can find out if... You were the gentleman who framed me. Was it you? You Lung, what did Sunset Villa do that made you want to betray them? All that smug self-righteousness. Mr. Lu. How come you let yourself... Be captured by my people. First, let Aurora go free. Hmm. <laughs> Dream on. You long.
Do you get the picture? No matter how much you may not want to admit it, you long betrayed Sunset Villa to Heartbreak Red. Why? Why are you being so horrible? Revenge. Revenge? I don't know what you're talking about. We've never even met you. We've never even... Luti and Cheese met me. Dad? He abandoned me to marry your mother. He changed me from a carefree young maiden into a heartbroken old woman. He just went without a word of explanation. I hate him. And I want to destroy him. And I want you to suffer like I've suffered all these years. You... What are you going to do to me? Yulong, you're going to marry my niece, Sei Chu Chu, right in front of her. <laughs> oh. There, you see, I told you. I knew we were going to be engaged. You didn't believe me, but I was right. <laughs> I suppose you believe me now. Yulong, how about it? No. <gasps> Why ever not? Don't you want all that money and power? Madame Shang, you knew when we made our agreement there was nothing about marrying Sei Chu Chu in it. True, there wasn't. But surely you can be a bit flexible. Not that fle flexible. Oh, I get it. You get what? <laughs> I see. You're not going to admit it. But actually, you're really in love with Aurora. <laughs> Dear, dear. Well, aren't you? <laughs> You're too late. What happened? Did you get rid of Lu Xiaofeng? Oh, we threw a poison cloud at him. He won't live much more than a couple of hours or so. So where's the Jade Badger? What makes you think I'm going to give it to you, even if I have got it? What do you mean by that? You're always insignificant in the plan. What are you talking about? The whole idea was mine. And who taught you all the Kung Fu you know? <laughs> A student can grow beyond her teacher. You told me that yourself. <laughs> you want to see if you've grown beyond your teacher? I'm ready and waiting. <laughs> oh, I was only having a little joke. Don't get so upset. Here you are. The jade badge is yours. <laughs> Huh? This purple jade badge is a forgery. How do you know? Hmm. I saw the real one once. I remember exactly what it looks like. I tell you, this one's a fake! Lu Tian Chi's made a fool of me again. This time he'll pay for it. You want Lu Tian Chi. I want the purple jade badger. So let's go together to Sunset Villa. The whole villa's empty. There's no one there. Hmm. He's so cunning. Where's he hiding out? More to the point, where's the Jade Badger? Get the truth from Aurora. And do it any way necessary. Yes. J Badger is. I don't know. I said, tell me. And she said she doesn't know. You long. Whose side are you on? Remember, you're my fiance now. Hmm. Over my dead body. Huh. You long. Temper, temper. Don't be a soul loser. Hmm. Anyway, there's a lot of men I fancy more than you. Roralu, you're cramping my star. Let's see if he still wants you. After I finish with you. <laughs> Say Chu Chu, you mustn't hurt her. Why not? She's not your fiance. Hmm. I'll do what I like. <clears throat> not while I'm alive, you won't. All right, you long. If that's how you feel, you better leave the palace permanently. Stop! <laughs> you, you're alive. <laughs> A man or a ghost? Can't you tell the difference? But 
You disappeared in a cloud of heartbreak poison. So how? I mean... I was lucky. Lord Lou saved me. Oh, good for you. But now you're here. Take my advice. Mind your own business. <laughs> Say to two. You must not hurt them. Oh. You come flying in here telling me what to do. I want to hurt them. Well, perhaps... I'll spare their lives on one condition. Tutu. <laughs> I don't want any more of your loot suggestions. I'm not thinking of anything like that. All right. What is it? <laughs> uh, well, if you'll agree to be my lover, then I'll let them go. If you'll leave Heartbreak Red Organization, then I'll consider it. I can do anything but betray Madame Shang. Why's that? I'll tell you. My parents died when I was young. I was left completely helpless. Madame Shang rescued me and looked after me. She's like a mother to me. I owe her too much to desert her. But you're a woman now. And you know right from wrong. You should make the choice. Leaving her is the only thing I can't do. I don't care about anything else. Lu Feng, I'm serious. Will you stay with me? <laughs> I could stay a while. That wouldn't be hard. I'd probably even manage a tumble or two. But I'm sorry. I know that I could never love you. <laughs> I thought you might at least be less vulgar in your rejection. It's my love you're throwing away. <laughs> Get out of my way! <laughs> Lu Feng, why do you never do what I want you to do? It's for your own good. Hmm. I don't want your sympathy. I want your body. This is between him and me. A fight to the death. Yes. Yes. I know I can't make you love me. <gasps> but I can't lose you. <gasps> oh. <sighs> this way I don't have to. Oh. <gasps> I'll die by your sword. <gasps> and in your arms. Lucia <gasps> Feng. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Liu. Aurora, your father sent this for you. Hey, where are you going? I have some important business. What does your father have to say?
that medicine to me, not you. I want it. That medicine can destroy people's kung fu powers. I know that, Aurora. That's why I'm keeping it. You long! <laughs> What about the conditions we agreed on? That was only if I got the Jade Badger. Right. Please. Please. Who is she? That's Snow in Summer, my wife. The fumes given off by the Jade Badger preserve her. And her beauty. She's been like this for 19 years. <gasps> what are you doing? I hate her. I want to destroy her. Sunbeam, don't be disrespectful to the dead. <laughs> you bastard. You are in love with her. <laughs> Sunbeam. The purple jade badger. Stupid fighting! Yes, when I've killed you! Sunbeam! I told you not to call me Sunbeam, she's dead! Sunbeam, please let Aurora go! Only if you fulfill your promise! Right. I'll do it. Zhang <laughs> 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 Wuhen? Where's the Jay Badger? Shen <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not killing me when you had the opportunity was your biggest mistake, Madam Shang. But why? Until now, my Kung Fu was always vulnerable. After I've drunk from the Jade Badger, I shall become invincible. It'll never <laughs> happen. It'll never work for you. Sun Wuhen. Lu Xiaofeng. Always trying to put the world to rights, you should be an officer of the law. Maybe. I'd certainly put you out of business. And right now I suggest you come with me without any fuss. <laughs> you ruined my Kung Fu, so I killed your wife. We're both practical men of the world, so let's say we're even. What do you say? Shen Wuhen. 
Will you come quietly? Or do you want to fight here? Why should I go with you? What's in it for me? <laughs> anyway, you can't make me do anything. Then we've got to find the Jade Badger. Surprised. Huh? <gasps> 
I hope you'll both be very happy. Take good care of yourselves. <laughs> 